Hello everybody, this is IMB and I am back for Let's Play Unlimited Saga and we are just heading to the Watch Elemental Quest and if you see there uh, with, there's only six of us who could actually go on this adventure and we're leaving Michelle behind which means that she won't be participating in any of our adventures anymore Sad, ain't it? Okay, in, in the Water Elemental Quest we have this little orb where which uh, you could you need to place them in the right place at the right time uh, when they change color uh, you can place them in any of these little emblems but you do not want to do it unless you want to fight a really really tough boss battle um, you check here you could um, we just strip Armic of his stuff we're not gonna use Armic either we're just here to um, Finish this quest. Okay, right. Um, we just head over in this direction and up through here. Uh, there are these little monsters, so you could have a chance. You have a choice of fighting these um, little monsters, or you could just wait, observe, and just walk away. See, this little orb's vibrated, so we are. Little place called the emblem. This is a gold lion. It'll actually ask for you to place the token. So don't put the token in unless it asks you to, you know, basically place it. So we head this direction. Back to here. You could also fight these monsters. Um, just they're not very hard uh, fights considering our uh, general items and things like that. Now, if we pour the water over the orb, like so, and if it's cold water, it will turn blue. And when the orb turns blue, you need to you could go to another area. There will be um, three little spots where you can um, basically place this orb. There's another one. It's vibrating. And we enter it here. And if you place the orb here, it, says, it, it will ask you to offer the token instead of it just, um, you know, oh, treasure chest. It will ask you to offer the token. Now we have a sharp eye skill, so I'll demonstrate yeah, that to you. There you go, Judy. And you see that there's a um, little icons that popped up. The white key it means it's locked, and that little cloud of poison looking thing means it's poisoned. Okay. Failed. Uh, anyways, we'll just head over in this direction. Um, the thing is, if you fight these monsters here, they will give you some items. Usually, very similar to uh, that of a um, that of a uh, uh, treasure chest, but if you place a orb here, you also fight a monster, and these will drop magic tablets, while the other ones don't, I believe. And these things are tough, tough as hell. I mean, uh, they rarely take any LP damage and they've got about 8 LP that you have to deplete so I'll just demonstrate it to you um, since we're here um, let's just treat this kind of like a boss battle then okay as per usual I'll just cycle through all the characters I'll have good old Anzan use boulders to slow down our turn and you know look at this this thing has about five to six actions per turn and they're really damaging actions remember that we've got some really good armor now like rock quartz and stuff and I even have um, the behemoth chest plate on Anzan so I mean this is this is doing a lot of damage um, I could try using Mist of Guard but um, it only blocks from you know, a third of the, the attack choices. Oh, 
this is this is good. This is good. I want Laura to learn some sort of skills. Um, see, this would normally. You remember this hit that killed the last bar? Only did one LB damage this time. So if you are unprepared and you place the uh, the orb into one of these, and it's game over, really. Here we have Ongri with um, some dagger skills. Let's see, I'll uh, just place this. This will only really, uh, block uh, HP damage from thrust attacks, not from tentacle attacks. And let's see, this will do full damage. Life boost. What life boost does is that when a character is resting outside of the battle, um, his HP will recover more so than usual. Um, the best two skills on a dagger is stunner and dice. Um, stunner basically has a um, instant kill ability called Bloody Mary. And what it usually does is once we spark it, and we use it on uh, any old monster, it will kill it with one hit. And this includes um, bosses, like this one. Um, so hopefully we can spark it in this adventure. But probably not. Jellicles have um, actually have quite a low spark rank. And monsters with higher spark rank will um, spark better skills. Uh, And usually when um, what I'm trying to get Laura to spark as well is uh, her uh, sword skill from Rear Blade which is called Bow Peep, which is basically the same thing. It doesn't do a lot of damage but it does also do insta instant kill attacks. While the other uh, dagger arts, uh, the dice, um, you get um, a level 3 spark art called um, Mints which deals a ton of LP damage. And um, you also get a level 4 art from it called uh, Pure Ray. Oh, didn't get time at that time. Uh, Pure Ray, which deals a ton and tons of LP damage. Um, and at the cost, though, uh, of um, draining a lot of your uh, ability. The dice ability will drain not one, but two durability from a dagger. So. It's it's really kind of like an, a last option thing, um, unless you um, you know buff up the durability of all your daggers and things beforehand. Um, I think uh, it's a it's a it's um, you have a good chance of getting a lot of items on this quest because we're gonna trigger lots of lots of the, 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 the battles and usually they give us things like serpentine for um, building up our characters, oh building up our durabilities rather. See? Ah, awesome. You see, this is why um, shields are good with only with characters with shield panels. For the rest of them, um, swords are better because they um, deflect about 33% of the damage. Or the best shield only deflects 30% of the damage at, uh, at any time. However, um, a shield panel has a multiplier on it which increases the percentage in which a character evades from things. Not only that, um, certain shields will usually grant um, more than just slashing or piercing evasion. Uh, for example, the Dragon Scale Shield will also grant evasion against... Ooh! 5 LP damage. Evasion against them... Um, heat, Light, Ice and Lightning spells. And that's why... And there we go. I mean, that's, that's a really, really hard battle at, at this point of the game. Um, and the orb... Here, we see the orb change temperature after a while. And after a while, it'll turn red. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest up a bit and just trigger this battle again, if uh, repeatedly.